Aristotle was a famous Greek philosopher. He lived a long time ago, around 2,300 years ago. Aristotle had many ideas about how stories should be told. One of his most famous ideas is about the tragic hero. This video covers Aristotle's concept of tragic hero. First, let's talk about what a tragic hero is. A tragic hero is the main character in a story. This character is usually a good person. He has many good qualities, but he also has flaws. A flaw is something wrong or bad about his character. This leads to the hero's downfall, and he loses something important. It could be his power, happiness, or even his life. Aristotle's concept of tragic hero and tragedy is clear in his book Poetics. In this book, he explained what makes a good tragedy. A tragedy is a type of story where the main character has a serious problem, and the story usually ends in a sad way. Aristotle said that a good tragedy should make the audience feel pity and fear. Pity means feeling sorry for someone. Fear means being afraid that something bad could happen to you. Aristotle said that the tragic hero should be someone we can relate to. This means the hero should be like us in some way. He should not be completely good or completely bad. He should be a mix of both, just like real people. This makes the audience care about what happens to the hero. When the hero makes a mistake and suffers because of it, we feel sorry for them. We also feel afraid because we know that we could make the same mistake. This is Aristotle's concept of tragic hero. Now, let's talk about the qualities of a tragic hero. According to Aristotle, there are several important qualities a tragic hero should have. 1. Noble birth. The tragic hero is usually someone important. They might be a king, a nobleman, or a respected leader. This is important because when someone important falls, it has a bigger impact. The audience feels the loss more deeply. 2. Goodness. The tragic hero is generally a good person. He has good intentions and wants to do the right thing. However, he is not perfect. He has flaws that make him human. This mix of good and bad makes the hero relatable. 3. Hamasha. This is a Greek word that means tragic flaw. The hero has a flaw in his character that leads to his downfall. It could be pride, ambition, jealousy, or some other weakness. This flaw causes the hero to make a mistake. This mistake sets off a chain of events leading to disaster. 4. Peripatia. This is another Greek word that means reversal of fortune. The hero's life changes from good to bad because of his flaw. For example, a king might lose his throne, a hero might lose his loved ones, or a successful person might lose everything he has. 5. Anagnorisis. This means recognition or discovery. At some point, the hero realizes that his downfall is his own fault. He understands his flaw. This moment of realization is important because it shows that the hero has learned something, even if it is too late to change his fate. 6. Catharsis. This is the feeling the audience has after watching the tragedy. It means cleansing or purification. The audience feels pity for the hero and fear for themselves, but by the end of the story, they feel a sense of relief. They have experienced strong emotions and learned something important about life. Now that we know Aristotle's concept of tragic hero and its characteristics, let's look at some examples. One of the most famous tragic heroes is Oedipus from the play Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. Oedipus is a king who wants to do good for his people. He is a good man, but he has a tragic flaw, his pride. Because of his pride, he tries to avoid his fate, but he ends up fulfilling a terrible prophecy. He kills his father and marries his mother without knowing it. When he realizes what he has done, he is filled with horror and regret. His life is ruined, and he loses everything. Another example is Macbeth from the play Macbeth by William Shakespeare. Macbeth is a brave and successful soldier. He is respected and has a good life. 
But he has a tragic flaw, his ambition. He wants to become king so badly that he kills the current king. This sets off a series of terrible events. Macbeth becomes paranoid and kills more people to keep his power. In the end, he loses his mind and his life. Both Oedipus and Macbeth show the qualities of a tragic hero. They are important people with good qualities, but they have a flaw that leads to their downfall. They make mistakes because of their flaws, and they suffer because of those mistakes. They also realize their mistakes too late, which makes their stories even more tragic. Aristotle's concept of the tragic hero is important because it helps us understand why we are drawn to certain stories. Tragedies show us the complexity of human nature. They show us that even good people can make mistakes and suffer because of them. They also teach us important lessons about life and human nature. In summary, Aristotle's concept of the tragic hero is a powerful idea that helps us understand human nature and the stories we tell. Thank you for watching. I hope you now have a better understanding of Aristotle's concept of tragic hero.